Well, cool. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, find the angle of B when given an intersection of two lines and, an, and one angle of 130. So I'm going to do this in two different kind of ways by using two different definitions. So the first one is when we have an intersection of lines, we need to start thinking about some definitions that come up. And one thing, when we have intersecting lines, if I have A and B, they intersect, I know that A is going to be equal to B. These are what we call our vertical angles. All right, now that's very important because if you see that, well, if this is B, then that value has to be B. And if this is 130 degrees, then this angle over here has to be 130 degrees. That still doesn't help us find the value of B, but it does kind of show us different ways that we can make sure the verifier answer is correct. All right, so that was with our vertical. Then we talk about supplementary. If you were to try to forget about one of these lines, we notice that we have a straight line. Right? And a part of that straight line, when we're talking about straight lines, we know we're going to be talking about we can be talking about supplementary angles. Because supplementary angles are going to be two angles that add up to 180. Well, a straight line has a measure of 180 degrees. So if I had my two angles A and B, I could say that A plus B equals 180. So when you look at this problem, if I was, again, kind of forgetting about one of these lines and I just focus on this line, I see that I have two angles that add up to 180. And I showed you the vertical angle because you can see it on the other side. These two angles add up to 180. If you forget about this length, you can see on this line, these two angles add up to 180 and these two add up to 180. So no matter what, we know we can write an equation of 130 degrees plus b equals 180. Then I just now solve for my variable. And there you go. We now determine that our variable, um, our missing value, is going to be 50 degrees. Thanks.